last race on a gloomy day. Racing. Clever Dick got away nicely. Lex stopped the moon much better today. Has raced up on the outside to take the lead early with Jono's Rocket. Very handy. Uh, Bonnie Girls getting up on the inside. And the real sepoys out a little bit wider pressing forward for Johnny's Rocket is about to get cover just off them. Clever Dick is on the inside as they run down the uh, back straight. Then Scarlet Missile, who travelled up to six, one off the fence for Witten. Then Express Flirt, who's racing on the outside. A fair lady back to the inside from Suspectus. Fry's Fantasy is ridden Cole back third last out outside of Ludd always. And last of all, his unending would be about 20 off the leader. Next stop, the moon is out in front by a half. The real sepoy. Third is our Bonnie Girl for Carberry. Running fourth, Jono's Rocket. And they're two in front of Clever Dick on the inside of Scarlet Missile. Express Flirt is in the orange colours racing seventh. Then came a fair lady. Suspectors love always. Fry's Fantasy's on the move. And unending is back last of all as they come up towards a home turn. So on the inside, next stop, the moon. On the outside, the real sepoy. Jono's Rocket moved up three wide. Express flirts out wide. Scarlet Missile pushed it out wider. And then came up Bonnie Girl in the straight and suspect us to the outside. Next up the moon, the real sepoy. Scarlet Missile. Express flirt joined in. So does suspect us. Friars Fantasy's trying to get out. Scarlet Missile. Express flirt have come together, but Pike takes the lead. Express flirt draws clear from Scarlet Missile and Friars Fantasy and suspect us. And Express flirt wins it well. Express flirt beats Scarlet uh, Missile. Third in Friars Fantasy. Fourth suspect and then came Clever Dick. Further back is our Bonnie Girl. Then next stop, the moon. Jono's Rocket couldn't come on, weakened badly from the turn from unending Clever Dick. Then came Love Always, the real sepoy, and a fair lady's run last. Express Flirt, number one is first, 250 and 120. Scarlet Missile, 240, 180, Friars Fantasy. So the three at the top of the market, the only three really under double figures, in fact. Have come away with the race. One beats eight and six. And Suspectus was a good run first up into fourth, number five. So it's one, eight, six, and five. Express Flirt at 250.120. Pike went on, blinkers sat seventh, made its move before the turn, and has come away to win very nicely indeed. Scarlet Missile second. Fry's Fantasy had trouble getting clear at various stages up the straight, but really have found the line quite well. Had a real bumping duel with uh, Clever Dick and also Suspectus. Uh, Bonnie Girl just behind them, Jono's Rocket weakened from the turn. Next stop, the moon led and stopped. We'll go downstairs, so at 125.67 the run, here's Gareth. Good day for Lou Luciani, a uh, double there Lou, blinkers go on, Pike jumps on and that was pretty impressive in the end. Yeah, had all the right ingredients, didn't it? This horse has been consistent, 12 starts for just the one win, but rarely runs a bad race. Yeah, well, he's a horse who probably, uh, he's six or seven years old and he's only been lightly raced, but he's got shocking legs. But he, uh, I always thought he'd be a city class horse and he's, I've got to say he's let me down. I, you know, he's just been running places, but having had excuses and I, I really thought if he didn't win today, I'd be saying to the owners, look, you might be best moving him down the bush somewhere. But anyway, we'll see if he can uh, continue on from here. Because if because he's lightly raced, he's had those problems, you just keep pushing on and just cross your fingers that you can keep him sound and maybe get him to Saturday and hopefully taste success? Well, surprisingly, for the shocking legs that he's got, he's he's relatively sound, so that throws all uh, all the rules out of buying horses at a yearling sale because he's got the worst legs I've ever seen on a horse, but he's, uh, he's as sound as a bell. Sometimes it doesn't make sense. No, it certainly doesn't. Good luck, mate. Well done. Thank you. There's Lou Luciani there, a winning double for the Luciani camp. William Pike, a double as well. Brittany Scarlet Missile was good, but the winner was just too good in the end. Uh, Kate went and pushed Willie Pike out for and five wide and um, she gave Scarlet Missile a lovely run but couldn't go with the win and Fry's Fantasia um, was back in third. So 185, 186, suspect us back in uh, fourth there, Brittany. Time 125, seven. Yeah, good initiative by Kate on the corner, obviously. You could see Willie making his move to her outside. So she uh, thought she would get on the move as well and just force him wide, but... Uh, it seemed to not be any uh, problem for Express Flirt, who was just able to run down the outside and cruise over the top, much to the delight of those that are back pike in the last. Yeah, that's just a 
recipe for success, back parking in the last, and he does it again. And that horse travelled like the winner, never looked like getting uh, beat with the master aboard. So Williams just jumped on those scales, and he'll now have a chat to Brittany Taylor for the second time today. This is becoming ridiculous, Parky. Do you just smirk to yourself now when you win the last? Uh, no, not really. Uh, the pressure's on. Um, I'm just happy I got the job done. You did indeed. Were you conscious just to get moving before the corner? Yeah, a little bit, but unfortunately I moved out instead of forward, so um, it, I was lucky to get away with that one, really. Was it to the horse's credit that it was able to run as, as well as it did? Yes, definitely. Um, I know he's been a bit unlucky, so I wasn't too worried about riding not so pretty, but when I um, hit the BMW in the car park, I was a bit worried. Well, you got the job done. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Well done to Willie Pike and Lulu Shiani in the last. That wraps up our coverage here from Ascot.